friends, Heidi here from Rain Country Homestead. God is good all the time. And today I'm going to show you how you can make your own all natural hairspray. You can do this with as little as two ingredients, but I'm going to recommend at least four and you'll see why. So if you saw my brown sugar rest, uh, video, which I'll link to right up here, you'll know that I just got done cleaning that mess up and now I'm getting on to my hairspray. This is <laughs> one of the many things I have to do today. So I got an order for my all natural hairspray and I'll be putting it in this bottle and I'll be putting my own label on it. And so you'll need a bottle and what I recommend for your own personal use is to get one of these. This one actually has some um, colloidal silver in it. I use it to spray for disinfecting, whatever. I use this for a lot of stuff. And, um, you can find this on Amazon. I have several of these. I love these bottles. It's a little expen expensive to, to um, invest in, but if you're going to use it to store things like silver and whatnot, I recommend going with this and not the plastic. I mean, you still have the plastic tubing on, this, on the inside, but you're limiting the exposure to plastic by getting the glass bottle. And, and it's dark, so whenever you're storing your colloidal silver, colloidal copper, or whatever, and you need it in a dark bottle, this is the way you want to go. So, anyway, that was a little bit of a side issue, but it sort of fits in. So, you'll need filtered rainwater, and you'll need sugar. These are your two main ingredients. You can get by with just these two if you're making it in small batches. However, if you're wanting it to, like if you don't use, I don't use hairspray a lot, though I do use it when I pull my hair up and twist it and all that, because I have all these little flyaway hairs that don't want to stay in place. Um, I do like to have my all natural hairspray for that. And since I don't use it a lot, I do need to use these other, these other things, which are either going to be a high proof alcohol, which today I'm going to use some rum, and or colloidal silver and or or and, and or colloidal copper and today I'm going to be using copper and there and I also make my own colloidal copper the same way I do the colloidal silver you can see it's got the blue tint all right um, because copper in particular is really good for your hair and your skin so I like to use the copper in my hairspray so I'm going to start with one Oh, and you'll need some essential oil. So the lady that's ordering it wants clove, so I'm going to be using some clove oil in there. So you want to start with one and a half cups of filtered water, and this is rain water. This is going to be the, the healthiest kind of water for your hair is filtered rain water or spring water. Um, you'll just have much better results. So one and a half cups. Okay, and then I'm going to put that in my saucepan. Now, this is what's cool about making your own hairspray is you can tailor it to suit you. This lady wants kind of a lightweight hairspray. So your average hairspray, uh, you're going to use about two tablespoons. And I'm going to go just a little bit shy on two tablespoons. It's almost two tablespoons, but just a little shy. Um, for me, I like to have a little heavier, so I might put up to three tablespoons in there. Um, it's still going to be a pretty light hairspray like that. And anyway, so you're going to want to heat this just it, uh, not high. You just want to heat it and, and, and cook it on your stove long enough to, um, or warm it through long enough for the sugar to dissolve. That's all you got to do. So I'm going to go put this on the wood stove, let the sugar dissolve, you know, and stir it the whole time. And then I'll be right back when this is done. All right, so my sugar is dissolved. It really didn't take long, and I didn't even have to get this hot. You can see that I can handle this and set it on air. It's just barely got warm, which is good, because then when I'm ready, I can just pour it right into my bottle. So that aside, what I'm going to do is put in... You want about 10 to 15 drops of whatever oils you're going to use. You can use all kinds of combination. My favorite is... Um, is orange clove as I probably mentioned before it's just my my very favorite this is going to be just clove and, and I'm using now foods I still really really like now foods oils but just watch some of the floral oils really read carefully because some of them are not 100% pure um, I was disappointed when I found that at least with the jasmine that's what I found then I realized um, 
they had a, I know that you can't get 100% jasmine oil for a good price or 100% rose. You need to look at your, um, when you're looking at those, look for the absolutes. You know those are going to be an oil blend, but if you look at like their jasmine and it says fragrance, that means there's synthetic stuff in, uh, added. And I was really disappointed because now Foods is known for being now all natural. So that, that kind of surprised me. Um, that was the only one was the jasmine one I bought that was that but I then I found the jasmine absolute so you're going to use about a Tablespoon of either vodka or rum and You can if you're using colloidal silver or colloidal copper You really don't need to use this as well the purpose of the of these things this or the colloidal copper or silver is since you've got a sugar water here it's to keep um, it is to keep it from spoiling so it gives it a shelf life and but I I like to double up I, I do both the, the spiced rum just adds a nice scent to the hairspray especially mm, especially when you're doing a spicy one like the clove or the orange clove and then um, of course the colloid I don't want to stick that in there the colloidal copper I'm going to do a tablespoon of that as well because the copper is good for the hair and the skin and it will also help keep the keep the hairspray from spoiling as it sits on the shelf. And I, I forgot to mention earlier, at least I think I forgot, so I may be doubling up on this. You want to use a white sugar, not, not a brown sugar, not um, a Rapidura or whatever those other darker ones are. They will not work. Um, they are, uh, though I do find the blonde sugar, the organic sugar... Um, cane, cane sugar. It's got a little bit of molasses in it still. Um, it, it seems to work just fine for my hair. I have no issues with that. All right, so I need to get my skinny funnel. And I'm going to fill this out. Now, since I've got to ship this off, if I was making this for someone locally, I'd fill it clear to the top. But since I gotta ship it off, I need to allow some air space. Because you never know, you don't want it to blow up in shipment. And typically what I like to do, even though eight ounces is usually about right there or less, I still like to give people the most for their money. Um, so typically what I'll do is if I've gotta ship it, I I you know, and then they have to pay for shipping. I'm gonna pour a little bit back in there. Um, I'll throw in a couple extra things like a little, you know, lip balm and or a couple of little, you know, sample sizes of my homemade soaps. So all I got to do is put the label on it and package it up and ship it off. So there's your homemade hairspray. Super easy to do, very frugal. And so I know you're watching the lady that ordered this hairspray, so you're going to get to try it. You'll have a bottle that you can reuse, and now you've got the recipe on how you can make it yourself. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. And God bless.